Hello Bloggineers, today we're going to unbox and demo another KiwiCo Eureka Crate. And in this one we'll be building a 2-in-1 lantern, which is basically a camping lantern that can transform into a flashlight. Eureka Crate is for ages 14 and up, but for all of them so far we've been able to do it, even though we're under 14. And if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Okay, opening it up, we have the Maker's Guide. And inside the Maker's Guide are some information. Yep, the usual information about like science and engineering. And steps on how to build the flashlight or lantern. Yep, it's the step-by-step -step instructions that are always easy to follow. And in the front of the book, they show all the components. And the different sections. Yeah, the different parts of the build. Key components are LED, reflector, and hinged handle. The skills we'll need are wood assembly, Let's as usual, time. wiring, and exploration. What? The complexity is medium and the time is 1.5 hours. Here is the battery and the, what do you call this? The wires and the battery set. Yeah, basically the battery set. Here's the wood. Oh, I recognize this plastic tube. We used it in the uh, pencil sharpener. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a nice little kit with bolts, screws, and circle things. They're more like special, special thick rubber bands. Basically, they're connectors. Here is foam, foam and some other stuff. Ooh, hello. These are the reflectors. There's a plastic thing. A plastic sheet. It's hmm. a plastic thing. It looks like one of those binder things. And battery use instructions, since this project involves batteries for the lights. And that's it. Okay, that is the unboxing for the two-in-one lantern Eureka crate. In the end, it will look like this, and now let's get right to the building. Okay. Part A is build wiring, wire the light source, which has 19 steps. So this will be the longest. Yeah. Good. All right, there we go. Step two is the... The wooden thing with yeah. no hole. No hole. Remember, no hole. Whoa, there's a lot of wooden pieces this time. Step three, we need this piece with two rectangles on top, one on the bottom, a circle, and the Kiwi Co side is... Up. No, down. down, down. Step four has the big, wait, oh wait, I got the wrong piece. Now, okay, this is the big red button that we press to turn the flashlight off. Oh, twist off the nut. Twist off the nut. Okay, so I insert it through this way. Step six. Yeah, red connects with red. Connects with red, and after that, we put a screw between both reds. So this one goes under. Put this one under. Someone put a, insert a bolt in. Okay, okay, okay. Step seven. Out of 19 oh. is this thing. And more sticky foam. Here we go. Finally! <laughs> yeah, that took a while, but we got it. Here's the end of step seven. That was one of the longest steps. Step nine, poke through the big holes. Oh, you have to poke them through. Oh no. I put it in the wrong place. Stop and check. 
Push the button to turn the LED mm -hmm. on. Brother's gonna push it. Ready, set, big red button. Whoa. Whoa. They said don't look at it because it's very bright. I'm looking at it and I didn't get the right. Step 11. Uh, screw. So we screwed in the wire for step 11 and for step 12 we do the same but for the blue and the black wires. Step 14. Mm -hmm. Grab uh, two of those. Yeah. Step 16. We attach. And finally, step 19. We grab band things. Okay, one band thing. Yeah. Oh, there we go. The band made it through. That's now fun. let's turn on the light. <laughs> the Yay! Light. The light is bright. Okay, that was a very long and confusing part for me. But it wasn't that confusing. It was confusing. It was only confusing at the last step, which I didn't know how to put it in. On to part B. Part B, this is the second part out of five. It is finish the base. Okay, so we're back and we just finished step three. He was doing nothing, so I ordered him to get us water. And I did. Okay, anyway, step number four is is we attach this over the tube. Now it says put the one that fits over the tube, which is only this one, right? Okay, part B was actually hard, like really hard. Even though it was only eight steps, they were That was the longest eight steps ever. Okay. I screwed from the screw. Get it? <laughs> that is a much life. So we have this thing. Before, if you turn on the light, whoa, it's, look, you can see the circle of light all around the room. Do you see? Yeah. So it, it is bright, but it becomes even more bright when you put the reflector on. It doesn't make it that bright. Oh, there, look. Because the reflector is made of foil material, it's not so it reflects foil. light. Material. It's not anywhere close to foil. It is. Part D is finishing the top, which will let the lantern slide apart to transform. Step 13. Now is... we just put the yellow things to match this. Uh -huh. Step 13 is easy sticking. I see why this is a two-in-one lantern, because this way it's a lantern, but if you flip it this way, it's a flashlight. Whoa! Yeah, look. This is actually lantern mode. Wait, let me shut that up. And this is flashlight mode. All right, we did it. This, this was a lot of hard work. One thing I noticed is that this Kiwi code is one of one of the few that doesn't have zip ties. That's good. I, I don't like zip ties. So I was glad that there was no zip tie. So this is the two-in-one lantern, and here's why. First, lantern mode. As you can see, you can't really use it as a flashlight because the handle's up here, and the light doesn't go that far. So yep. it's all in But here. then we turn it off. Push it down, and remove this, and we move this Move up, it down, and we move the position of this, and then it goes down, 
down. Okay. And as you can oh, see. Oh, it's all of a sudden a flashlight. As you can see, it goes all the way. And the handle actually moves. This lantern was pretty fun to build, but also kind of hard. And it's probably gonna be yeah. The highlights, useful. the highlights were these band things. They were so hard, but at least there were no zip ties because those take a while. Mm -hmm. And I really like how this is not just an ordinary lantern; it's a two-in-one lantern. I never seen anything like it. And also, this is the biggest flashlight that I ever seen. So overall, I'm really pleased with this. And let's just do a quick demo. As you can see, it's very bright. Converting to lantern mode. Whoa. So bright. It's brighter than it's lantern. It's brighter than our recording lights. It's brighter in lantern mode than flashlight mode. You can learn a lot of cool things in the back. For example, 50,000 hours. That means you could leave this on all night for 2,000 days or or more. Yeah, and if it's just nighttime, that's only like eight hours, eight, nine, or 10 hours. Uh -huh. So this is probably one of the most useful KiwiCos we've built. If this looks interesting to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description, and we'll see you next time. Bye. 50,000 hours, guys.